Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today's Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run around with in Battlefield 5 test out review, and I'll pick one of the top rated comments for next week's episode. Today's top comment comes from Hannah Lodbrock, if I'm saying that right. Loadout idea is the mobster. Primary weapon is the M1928A1 Thompson with a drum mag. Secondary is the 1911. And then for the gadget, we'll be using bandages and the smoke rifle. For melee use, pick the club. Clothing, something stylish with a face mask. Now this loadout or something similar to this loadout has been requested since like day one of loadout for Battlefield 5. The Thompson is that super iconic, super popular gun. It was seen a lot in Saving Private Ryan. It's been in just about every World War II video game that's had the American forces. And it was of course also popularized by the American mobster scene where gangsters would use this weapon with the full drum magazine nicknamed the Tommy Gun to uh, basically uh, settle disputes, if you will. Territory claims, gang wars, mob wars, fighting the police, that kind of thing. Um, what's kind of interesting that I just realized is that Tom Hanks uses the Thompson in Saving Private Ryan as his main weapon, but also in the movie Road to Perdition, where he plays one of these gangsters, he also uses the Tommy gun uh, just for different purposes. Now, there's been two competing loadouts for the use of this Thompson, actually, one with the drum mag and one without the drum mag. Uh, generally speaking, we think of the drum mag one more associated with mobsters or the gangster scene. However, the drum magazine was still used a bit in World War II, so it wouldn't have been completely unrealistic or uncommon to see somebody using a Thompson with the extended magazine. When it comes to Battlefield 5, if you choose to go for the drum magazine route, you get the extra 50 round magazine that allows you to do a lot more damage in close quarters. The downside is that you lose the rate of fire upgrade that you can get and uh, some of the hip fire benefits from the other side of the tree. Personally though, I think getting the extended magazine is really the way to go. You have a 720 round per minute rate of fire, making this one of the most lethal medic weapons in the game when it comes to close quarter combat. The only one that does more damage is the Suomi. Um, and you get decent hip fire accuracy. You can ADS all right for close medium range engagements and you can just dish out so much damage because you've got those 50 rounds to do some real work with. If you go the other route, you get a 20 round magazine and you bump the rate of fire to almost a thousand rounds per minute. So it becomes more lethal for killing one player and it gets you a little bit better hip fire accuracy, but Overall, I don't think the trade-off is worth it for such a reduced magazine capacity. Now, if DICE decides to revisit their Thompson progression tree, I would suggest updating the left side progression that doesn't get the extended mag with a slightly extended mag. The Tommy gun or the Thompson could use a 30 round stick magazine in addition to the 50 round drum magazine. So if the left side tree gave you a 30 round magazine upgrade, I think that would give you a more interesting trade off rather than just going for a 20 round mag and an upgraded rate of fire. But that's just something for DICE to consider down the road. Now the Tommy gun is a very good weapon. Sadly, it's gonna require you to get your medic class to rank 20 before you can unlock this gun and start upgrading it and really take full advantage of just what a powerhouse this weapon is in close quarters. Before then though, you do unlock the Suomi. It's the second medic weapon you get. And that one in a way is very similar to the Tommy gun. It's almost identical except for that it has a slightly faster rate of fire than the Tommy gun and slightly harder to control accuracy. And so it makes a great Tommy gun replacement if you're not at rank 20 yet, or you could even argue it might be a more powerful weapon in general. Now, when it comes to upgrading this weapon, this is the progression tree I have picked. I'm not saying this is the best way to go, but it works the best for me. At the very end of this progression tree, you can upgrade the hip fire a bit, and you will see from a lot of my gameplay that I'm alternating between hip fire and aiming down sight kills. So I've got a little bit of pros into aiming down sights and a little bit of pros into hip fire. You can play around with it depending on what you think you're going to use more with the Tommy gun. Do you think you'll hip fire more, or do you think you'll ADS more. Hip firing is very powerful for all SMGs and you 
should take advantage of it in close quarters because it'll even lessen your time to kill, which should be relatively slow, short with a lot of the fast firing SMGs. Now, when it comes to aiming down sights, you can go ahead and use those iron sights for that cool, authentic look and feel. The irons are not great on this weapon, and so I find that when using the irons to try and pinpoint longer range targets, it's actually much more difficult for me. So that's why I use the yellow dot or the reflector sight here to help me pinpoint a bit more accurately when ADSing. It does hurt the overall look of the gun in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the visual look, but if you want performance over authenticity or the look of the weapon, then you'll probably want to pick a different sight other than the irons. Now, for as bad a rap as the medic class gets in Battlefield 5, the bad rap is really for just not having a versatile class. It's a great class for close quarter combat and not really anything beyond that. If you get into medium or long range, you're by far the weakest class on the battlefield when it comes to combat. And so when I'm playing on a map here like Domination and it forces lots of close range engagements, I can top the scoreboard both in heal points, revive points, and kills. No problem. Just absolutely tear it up with the Thompson. It, it, you, could, you could argue that this is the best close quarter weapon in Battlefield 5. Someone could try and make the argument that a shotgun is better, but a shotgun is far more limited than the Thompson when it comes to slightly elongating your engagement distances. So I absolutely love the Tommy gun. It goes hand in hand with the Suomi in my book. Um, I think I like it better than the Suomi, even though the Suomi's faster time to kill. The Tommy gun just seems to have a little bit better control when ADSing, which kind of uh, extends its versatility. If you just want to go full on hip fire, close quarter running around and destroying people, then the Suomi is probably a better option. If you want a little bit of opportunity to ADS and take somebody out at medium range when they're sort of not looking at you, then the Tommy gun is a bit better. Now, a skilled medic can take advantage of this weapon on most maps. And you might be thinking, well, I thought you just said that this was basically just a close quarter weapon. How are you going to make it work on maps that aren't close quarters? Well, a skilled medic comes with many tools to get in close quarters. You can swap over to smoke grenades, which is what I have done here, and using the smoke grenade launcher rifle. And that'll enable you with four different smoke grenade options at spawn. And if you top off at a ammo crate, I believe that'll give you five potential smoke grenade options. And so that gives you a lot of smoke to close the distance, put up a big visual wall between you and the enemy and get in close quarters and do some real damage. I'm not saying you can make smoke grenades work on every single map or use them in every single situation to close the distance, but it gives you a lot more options and versatility to do so. And if you've got some smart teammates who are hanging around you and know to push up when you're putting down the smoke, you can absolutely be the instigator of some epic flanks for your team. And so that's a really fun way to play the medic class. I highly recommend going with smoke grenades. Forget your, uh, your other grenade options. Smoke is probably the best option for closing that distance if you really want to get a lot of primary weapon kills. Overall, I gotta say the Tommy gun is probably some of the most fun you can have with the medic class. Unfortunately, it's at behind that level 20 medic wall. So that can take a while to get there. And if you're not enjoying the other medic weapons along the way, it can be a frustrating journey. And I, I think that's kind of a, one of the overarching problems with the medic too, is like some of the best weapons are at the end of that progression tree, like the Tommy gun. And so if it takes you that long just to get a weapon that you find is really good or really fun to play with, well, then it's gonna give you a, a different perception of the class. Cause using the very slow TTK medic weapons, um, <laughs> Is, is hard to do, man. Like I, I've played so much with the slower firing medic rifles and it's it's just a rough experience, not enjoyable. And I end up really like resenting the class and the overall class balance. But once I'm running around with the Tommy gun and enough smoke grenades uh, to let a small army push up to new objectives, then I'm feeling much better about myself and my position on the battlefield. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode of Loadout. Don't forget to leave your comments down below, letting me know what you would like me to run with next week. Something that a lot of people haven't been sort of incorporating to their loadouts, which you could in the future, is the role. Right now, each class has two roles, which can slightly alter the way that you play. So feel free to get more in depth with the specifics of the class if you would like to. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.